Sunni militants from ISIS have reportedly seized the country's largest oil refinery in the town of Baiji. Two weeks ago, they launched a ruthless insurgency campaign, capturing key cities and large swathes of land. They still have Baghdad in their sights. ISIS radicals have been carrying out attacks on the Baiji refinery for the past 10 days, and uh, there were intense clashes with the army, but troops had managed to repel the fighters until now. Let's see. Uh, why this area is so crucial and here's why it's important. Well, Baiji accounts for more than a quarter of Iraq's entire refining capacity. The facility processes about 300,000 barrels a day, supplying petrol stations nationwide as well as power plants. Battles over the Baiji refinery have already led to petrol rationing, but its seizure could mean massive queues at gas stations and lengthy electricity outages. At its heart, this conflict is deep-rooted along religious lines. The Sunni-dominated Northwest has historically been at odds with the Shiites living in southern regions. But it's also about strategic interest. Militants are increasingly zeroing in on the biggest oil fields that are controlled by the government. And the industry makes up 95 percent of Iraq's economy, and it's now under serious threat. We can get more on this now from journalist and Middle East expert Annabelle van der Berg. Thank you so much, Annabelle, for joining us here on RT International. Well, my first question is, I mean, what is the game plan here uh, for ISIS and going uh, after the oil? Well, of course, the main aim for ISIS is capturing Baghdad because that is what they want to get. They want to have the capital, they want to have the entire country under their control. And of course, by capturing the city of Beijing, by the, capturing the refinery, that is already a big step because the refinery, as you said before, is very crucial, very important and a very strategic point. And can Baghdad protect its oil resources by itself? Well, there are some stocks, so there is some reserve that they can use still. So Baghdad, for this moment, is not feeling very, very, very unsafe. But you could see already at the, at the gas stations, long lines are piled up. People themselves are getting afraid because they hear rumors that Beijing is taken. They hear that the rebels are coming closer and closer. So they are trying to get their cars filled before ISIS is getting here. Well, in the worst case scenario, if uh, jihadists do get their hands on the oil resources there, how much of a blow would it be, economically speaking, for the government? For the government, it will be a disaster, of course, because this, the government has proven already to be too weak to keep um, actually the control over Mosul, the, the second biggest uh, city of Iraq. So if ISIS is getting further and further up to Baghdad, then of course that will mean that the government, the, 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 mil the, military, the militants of the government are not strong enough and they will need support from, uh, from external. Well, you know, at this point, there's a suggestion that it's not just ISIS, but there are other groups uh, that are fed up uh, with uh, Maliki. I mean, is there any chance of them joining up? Definitely. You can see in the north already that it was very easy to capture several cities. And that is, of course, because other groups besides ISIS have helped ISIS to capture these cities and these towns. Because most of the Sunni people are fed up with the rule of Malaki, with the sectorism rule, actually, of Malaki. So they want to support ISIS. ISIS. They rather have ISIS ruling their towns than Malaki ruling the country. That is in the first place. On the second hand, in Baghdad, people are very divided, of course, because here you have a majority of Shia people which are as Maliki, of course, from, from the Shia tribe. So that is a different case. In Baghdad, a lot of people are standing up, are voluntary, voluntarily willing to fight ISIS. So here you see a very, very big division. Uh, well, Annabelle, you know, the U.S. has vested interest uh, in uh, Iraq, and he has this cautious to send in troops. I mean, what sort of action can we expect from the U.S. in the near future? I mean, will it continue to wait in the wings, uh, so to speak, or will it sort of, you know, be ready for an action there briefly, if you could? Well, if I'm talking to the people here on the street, what I feel is that they really want intervention of America. They feel that the United States are the only ones strong enough to support the Iraqi government and to support the Iraqi army against these, these extremists, against ISIS. So that is in the first place what they want. What do they also want is they want the America to, Americans, or the U.S. rather, to urge Maliki to step down because Maliki is for them the basis or the, the start point of this, this problem. All right, uh, Middle East expert Annabelle van der Berge, thank you so much for talking to us here on RT International.